Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and yo, we're not gonna waste any time because honey, enough time has already passed. It is finally time, finally time, to dive in to the new review of the Fenty Foundation. This is something that has been so insanely requested from you guys. Like, out of the found explosion of 2019, I would easily say one of the top five requested foundations. So, I hope that this is everything that you guys want it to be. I did pick up, along with the foundation, their brush, which I will explain why in a second. And I also picked up this little ditty, which I think we should use right now. Oh my god, it has this nice little applicator. It's fuzzy. Okay. I should just put that on. Mm, okay. That's really nice on the lips. Wow. It's not sticky. It just, like, settles right down. And it has a nice light shine to it. Wow, that's, that's going in my pocket, girl. I like that. So now moving on to the foundation, I'm going to be reading some specs off of the Fenty website. This is a $35 foundation, and you get 1.08 fluid ounces. So you get like a boop, boop over the one full fluid ounce mark, which is fantastic. Now, it looks like the cliff notes on this here, I'm not going to read you guys all 12 paragraphs on their website, but this is specced as a hydrating, medium to full coverage for all skin tones, long wear, light as air. It says here, it is a perfectly smooth, natural finish that lets skin look like skin we're talking natural not dewy like your skin just had a must needed drink of water oh that's like my favorite type of hydration too oh girl recognizing the need for a hydrating pro filter formula that normal to dry skin types will love rihanna created this foundation with grapeseed oil and sodium hyaluronate to give skin the nourishing hydration it needs to stay comfortable all day now with this launch they did also curate a couple of primers and i didn't pick those up for today's video because as you guys know i like to go in with primers that i already know how they wear so I can test two different primers one on each side today just for reference I did Tatcha silk canvas per usual on this side and then on the other side I use the Farsali unicorn essence I just wanted to see how the hydration would pair with the hydration in this foundation just to kind of test the formulas together and see how that whole thing goes and I did also pick up while we're on the conversation let's talk about this little brush here this is their 115 kabuki buff foundation brush and I did pick this up for a couple of reasons the first one being I really liked the profile of this. I love the way that it's like nice and thick and dense, but it also has a little movement to it. So I feel like it will work very nicely, very similar to the Jeffree Star brush that he did with Morphe. I really like that one, which was a big surprise to all of us because I have never really tried a foundation brush that I actually enjoy as much as that one. So let's go ahead, dive in, girl. Too much talk in the shade 150. Let's go. So here we have the packaging. It is just a traditional little squeezy tube. I did think that this was a little bit interesting that they went with the squeezy tube option for this. Yes, it does have a pump. Now let's go ahead here and just give myself a little test. Again, the shade is 150 and I guessed. <laughs> so I don't know how accurate this is going to be. That's actually not too bad. All right. I'm going to go in first actually with her little brush. Does this have a scent? Kind of like a light little scent, doesn't it? Not bad or anything. Just a light little almost like natural. Okay. All right. Not mad at it. Also my hair today, girl, it's going to be like 83 degrees outside or 85 degrees today. And I was like, no, we are not playing this game. I'm not even going to pretend that I want to do my hair just for camera. Like let's not, let's not and say we did. Okay. Cause your girl can't care. Like y'all, I don't understand how people can do that. Like I understand being on camera and you want to look nice and everything, but like it's going to be 80 some degrees get a grip honey no wow this brush by the way let's just get back on track sorry i got i get distracted when my hair looks <laughs> like this um but this brush is quite literally seamless like you guys know i talk all the time about like things being streaky when i apply them with a brush and this is a beautiful application like literally seamless Wow. Let's go ahead here and finish up applying. I did just go in with about two pumps, I'd say, to get this entire um, side of my face where it is currently. I really like the way it's sitting. Like, it looks beautiful. It has a nice medium coverage to it, so I'm getting a lot of the redness covered. A little bit of, like, random redness, I call it, poking through acne and whatnot, but for the most part, it is looking beautiful. Now, on the other side here, I'm just going to grab my Real Technique sponge. This is my face and body, and I'm just going to apply that to the other side. Now, you guys are, if you are new here, you might not know, but the Fenty sponge is literally one of my favorite sponges of all time, and the only reason I am not using it currently is because I can't find it. It's a tragedy. I put out an APB. I have issued all the arrest warrants for whoever stole my sponge. So that's the only reason I'm not using that sponge. Um, it, but it is amazing just so you 
guys know. All right, so I wanted to bring you guys in for a second, but also, can I just tell you, I really thought I got up early enough to beat the tractors, and they just started driving down the road. And I'm like, how? How did I not beat you? How early must I get up? Oh my God, you guys, farmers do not sleep. That is no joke. If you wanna know who the real vampires of the world are, farmers because they do not sleep. But I digress. So let's go ahead and talk foundation sides. This is the sponge side, and I mainly moved you guys in because I wanted you to see. I do feel like you get less coverage when applying it with a sponge, but I also really like the way that it's pressed in. And I feel like on this side, don't get me wrong, you do have a little bit more coverage, but it's not quite as pressed. Now, the side with the sponge is also slightly more hydrated looking on the skin. And if I had to guess, that's probably just because um, the dampness from the sponge itself because I do use it damp that kind of goes in and I think can give it a little bit more luminosity to start with but overall I think both sides look great I just wanted you to kind of see the coverage up close also for those of you that are wondering I should probably mention because everybody keeps leaving it in the comments you want like a top five bottom five of the newest foundations that I have been testing because y'all I've been testing a lot and that is something I am working on I'm going through and taking notes of everything so I can really kind of rank them or give you my thoughts in that way so that is a video that is coming I don't think it'll be here this week because I have other foundations to test first but be on the lookout for it hopefully next week and I'm going to kind of run through again top five bottom five and that'll cover at least 10 of the foundations we have talked about and what I like and what I don't like anyways let me know your thoughts down below if that is something you want to see leave a girl a comment and let her know so anyways now let's go ahead here and add me some shape tape this is in fair neutral I'm just going to apply that to the under eye here. Pause real quick. I got this far and I realized I didn't do my oxidized test, so I'm just taking a little dot of this foundation and we're just gonna bop her little little guy right here. And let's see how the oxid, wow. Okay, I would say very, very light oxidizing. Like maybe, maybe a half a shade. Not too shabby, all right. Now let's go ahead and blend this out before it ends up sticking to my face. <laughs> and I look like this all day. Girl. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm going to use my Hourglass Translucent today. First things first here, we're going to press and pack out the under eye. Also go ahead and set the rest of my T-zone with a sponge real quick. I'm also going to go ahead here, take my Morphe JH01 and the same powder and lightly set the rest of my face real quick here. Oh, oh my God. Set that side. Didn't set this side. Let's do our touch test. Oh my God. My, my normal to dries. I am so sorry. I almost forgot what is wrong with me. Um, let's go ahead and check here. We do this for those of you with normal to dry skin to see if you'd have to set it. Wow. Okay, what's interesting is that it's not super tacky on the skin, but it is giving me a, like, transfer on the hand for sure, but it's, like, lightly tacky. Like, if you gave this a couple minutes, I honestly think it might soak in, and I don't know that you'd have to set it. If you did have to set it, um, it might be just a little, little bit, but it doesn't leave you tacky, which is really nice. Like, if you don't set it, even if it stayed like this, it wouldn't be uncomfortable at all. But again, I am getting some transfer on my hand, so something to note. So this is where we are sitting. It's looking really nice, and it has a beautiful, like, soft blurred effect on the skin. I do foresee maybe a little bit of an issue on my nose, Right now it looks okay, but down the pike it could be a problem. Um, but personally, I'm like really, really impressed with how this looks over my cheek region. It's literally a soft focus blurred effect. Like it looks gorgeous as far as texture goes, and I didn't lose any coverage yet, which is really nice, like blending on top of it. So anyways, I'm going to run off of camera. I'm going to get the rest of everything done. Super light day, because y'all know it's going to be hot, and your girl just ain't got time for that life. So I'm going to go ahead, finish up the rest of my face, and we will see how things are looking here in a minute. So hang tight, and I will be right back. And all right, you guys, I am back. This is the finished look, and I swear to you, I don't know what happened, you guys. I swear, I got off of camera, and I was like, okay, it needs to be really, really fast. And then before I know it, you know what, you know what the, you know whose fault this is? is Jackie Ina's fault because this palette is so beautiful and I could not help myself guys I played oh did I play it was so so fun and just to give you a really brief recap here I am wearing the shade supreme like all through the crease that's the light pink that you see I deepened it up with the shade pinker which is on the outer and inner V and then in the center there that really oh my god that green <gasps> guys this green is friggin magical I love it so much that is the shade Dwalas right there and then I topped it with a little bit of trust issues and it is 
just so, so stunning. Like, I, I cannot with how gorgeous this is. I love this look so much. Um, on the lips, by the way, if you are wondering, I am wearing the ColourPop Lip Liner in X Factor. And then on the lips, I am wearing the new Manny MUA Gloss from Lunar Beauty in the shade Dreamy. I love this gloss so freaking much. It's beautiful. Now, I do want to go ahead and dive back into the up close and give you guys what this looks like as it's sitting on my skin right now. So let's go ahead and throw that up and I'll kind of go through what I am seeing in real life. I feel like on the cheeks, things do look nice and smooth. I would say it's like a medium smooth. It's not perfect porcelain glass, but it's also not like rough and tumbly. It's like nice, good amount of smoothing happening there. I think the main thing that's going on that I'm noticing is that around my mouth, again, in that like muzzle region, it does look a little bit more matte, which is not uncommon. And I'll get into that here in a second. Um, between the eyebrows onto the forehead, I think things look pretty good as well. A little bit of settling already into the Hulk line, but nothing too crazy. Overall, I think that it's starting off as a pretty positive wear experience. But nonetheless, you guys, I'm going to go rock this eye, which if I didn't link it, by the way, I will go ahead and link my Jackie Einer review right up here. I don't know if I did that or not. Um, but guys, you just, you need to, wow, this is the second eye look I've done with this palette and it's so, so beautiful. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do my day, try to figure out what is going on here and how am I going to look at customers? I don't know, but girl, I hope they enjoy a fabulous green and pink flamingo that's coming at them all day. Caca, because it's coming. So I'm going to go ahead and do my day and I will be right back. And all right, you guys, it is officially the end of the day and your girl's here to tell you her final thoughts. How did it wear? All the good things. So let's go ahead and start off with how long I've been wearing this. You guys, 12 hours hours. What is going on in my life? Why on earth? Why on earth was I wearing makeup for 12 hours? Let me just tell you, whoo, this was the kind of day that like tests you on every level. If you don't follow me over on Instagram, I was checking in. I had some fudgy stories to tell you guys. Like it was, ho, oh, it was a lot. So if you don't follow me, you definitely should be. It's always linked down below with my Twitter. I am very active over on Instagram. I post selfies, finished looks, but more than anything, I check in day to day and I regale you with my stories of tourists, AKA fudgies here in the Northern MI. But let's go ahead and jump into this foundation because y'all I don't want to be regaling you with no stories right now Oh good lord. We would literally we're talking like a 35 minute video on me going Arr! Because fudgies I just like don't understand them So let's go ahead and bring you guys in and let's just talk foundation shall we um first things first I think you're gonna notice that overall on the skin. This does look very very luminous very hydrated Very very well worn after this much time, but overall it does have a beautiful hydrated again dewy luminous kind of look to the skin um, it is broken up, I would say, along the jawline, around the mouth. The nose is missing quite a bit of foundation at this point. Um, but overall, like on the cheek region, it still looks pretty smooth, especially I would say from like cheek up, like that whole area where there's bronzer, blush, and highlight, that is still very much so intact. I think that the forehead looks pretty nice as well, a little bit of settling, but it's actually pretty impressive to me that the forehead is as intact as it is. Around the mouth, quite a fair amount of breakage, and then the nose girl by like I had a hard time getting it to stick there to begin with and throughout the day it was just like that was the first to go like honey she was the first one off the island like boom voted out your tribe has spoken no thank you goodbye so as I was wearing this I was really impressed with a couple of things um the first one being this overall like dewy glow don't get me wrong okay right now girl we're we're virgin on like a little egg fry and grease okay because your girl's normal it's oily let's not forget but throughout the day I was just really really impressed that every time I kind of tilted my head and I moved it into the light, I do feel like it had this beautiful, like breathtakingly hydrated look on the skin. And it was almost like healthy, beachy. Like, you know how when you go to the beach, right? And you got on like your suntan lotion and your SPF because you wear SPF because that's what you do because you don't want to get skin cancer, but I digress. But you're sitting there and you're all lathered and you're living your best life. And you look at your skin and you're just like, wow, like my skin looks healthy and glowing. It looks like I've been in the sun and girl, I drink all my water. I didn't drink seven Diet Cokes today. I drink water like that's the kind of hydration that my skin had and I really really loved that about this now all of that being said at the end of every video you guys know the drill I always interject with um, if I were to wear this again how would I mix it how would I wear it to make the situation better this is definitely one that I would have to add a little bit of mattification to um, at this point I really don't care what way I do it whether that's with um, a different or more powder which I would probably do as well I would definitely have to add um, like a some sort of a matte foundation whether I want to go with my Catrice HD full coverage drops those are like a win-win for me 
I use them all the time. I could also try adding in a little bit of this one from Smashbox. This is their new Studio Skin Full Coverage. I did do a full review on this, which I will link up here. This one pulls very matte on my skin, but it's also very full coverage. So adding in just like a touch of this might help it adhere a little bit better and also give this one a little bit more luminosity, like kind of play into both of them and their strengths, if you will. So real quick, you guys, I just have one more thing to throw in. These little guys, they are so, so good. I actually really like them both. Um, this brush is so good. It buffed it in the foundation into my skin. It didn't leave me streaky. It was, it's a really nice brush. Like, I'm very excited to play with this again. And then this lip balm. Now, don't get me wrong. Do I think that you need an $18 lip balm? No. I really love the one from Milk Makeup, too, and that's like $20. Bucks. Um, but they are really good. If you were curious, I really like the way that this one sits and sinks into the skin. It's very thin, but it does apply beautifully, and it doesn't cause you, like, any stickiness. It doesn't pill around or move. Um, I obviously will have to test it out a little bit more to see if it actually does hydrate my lips because I didn't get to wear it a ton today. And you guys, with that, that is everything I have to say for you today. Let me know your thoughts down below. Y'all know that. Don't act like you don't know the drill, honey. It is. It's Fountain Explosion 2019. You know what to do. You know where to leave it. Go to the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. And you guys, if you haven't done so yet, you should also subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel and honey I will tell you why I put up new videos Monday through Friday that is Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday right nearly between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in northern Michigan and we talk about the newest foundation all the new foundations honey oh my god lord all of them and everything else that's new in makeup because I mean why not we have palettes we have full faces we have everything going on what I love what I don't love just everything in general it's happening here Monday through Friday between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in northern Michigan and y'all you want to be around so turn on your post notifications subscribe do all the things and you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Guys, can I just ask, why do I have another rat tail? And like, better yet, as I sit here, why on earth did people want rat tails? Like, why was this a thing? Who thought that that looked good? My eyes are watering. Hello? I need a napkin. Hello? Yes. A long piece of toilet paper that literally trails out of the ground will work just fine. Thank you. Okay, but for real, can we talk about this? Because this combination, whew, girl, it's killing me softly with this green paired with this pink eye. That sounds bad. Bow, 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 bow. I should have wrote songs. I should. I'm a bop. Me and Weird Al, okay? That is where it's at. Weird Al had a profound effect on me, apparently. But seriously, this this eye combo and the blend. Like, who is she? I cannot. Oh, I can't stop looking at myself. The narcissist is back, you guys. And she's obsessed with her face. What the hell is that? Oh my god, insurance makes no sense. Literally a phone call that says, hey, I'm calling you and you called me, but now I need you to call me and then we're going to talk about something, but I'm not going to tell you what we're going to talk about, okay? Girl, how much time do you think I have? I'm too busy looking at myself. I don't have time for this.